What have you done, you sick bastard? Dude, this poor fucking penguin. Is that a penguin or a dodo? He's a Either way, it's dead. He can feel it all, it's okay. <laughs> you are fucked up, mate. Hello boys and welcome back to another Elder Scrolls video. So as some of you know, the Homestead update was released yesterday. So what this update did was it changed a few things, fixed a few bugs and changed things to stop them being overpowered. So the biggest thing about the Homestead update, believe it or not, is that you can actually get housing now. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Crazy, right? Well, now we're going to go and build a house. So let's cue the montage music. Stan, you know that you buy the houses and don't build them, yeah? What you on about, dude? I just built this. Nah, I'm just kidding. Pedro's right, you do have to buy them. And you've got two different options. Option number one is to save up for a few years, get together about 3.8 million coins, and then buy one of these houses. Alternatively, your second option is to remortgage your house, take out a couple of loans, potentially send your life into a downward spiralling long road of depression, which I definitely have not done <laughs> regardless of that it's all worth it because at the end of the day you have a virtual house anyway this is a build video so i'll get into the build in a minute where you can see just exactly how i got these stats but before then what we're gonna do is uh, have a look around my friend darkness's house please leave a like down there if you enjoy subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in a moment bye oh there He's he is, back. Tom, where you been, man? He looks oh, beautiful. Right. I put these trees down myself, and all the plants are in them. Did you? Yeah. Go in here, and I put everything down here on my own, even the carpets, mate. <coughs> I should have just said no, to be honest. I like, I just like helping people, but now, now, now I'm just reconsidering. Every time people ask me for help now, and I don't know who they are, I'm gonna just say no, I think. So I don't darkness could never do this on his own. <laughs> I'm trying mean? to steal your stuff, but I can't do it. I'm very upset. It's what the first time I've walked into a house in Elder Scrolls Online and not been able to steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a it's nice looking thing. bed. <laughs> can't even get in it though. That's a bit depressing. See, this isn't even what it looks like normally. Like I just put these little things on the outside of it. More privacy. Ooh. Got a chamber pot as well. Yeah, man, exactly. Like, if I'd ever been... ...like shit, right? I'd run outside and do it in, like, the trees. Just do it in here, stick underneath the bed. That's fucking good, that. There's one here as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> I like these fucking bananas just on the bedside table in case you wake up on a midnight snack and decide that's what I want. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The best part is they're made out of wax. Like, oh, it's really yeah. nice. If I can just take a bite out of that. We go here to the fantastic balcony. Look oh, at that, mate. You spoiled for room up there. That Ooh. is a bloody nice view, that. What is that man? <laughs> this is worth a load Lucky screen. Up. Onto the hell. fucking rocks. It's sick, isn't yeah. it? That is beautiful. <laughs> right, if you look to the right, you see someone's house that's nicer than mine. Oh, that's yeah. nice, that is. Bloody yeah, hell, how much does oh, that one oh. cost? 12,000 crowns as well. I hope so. Anyway guys, so that was Darkness's house. If you enjoyed the tour, then please leave a like. So as it says in the title, this is a build video, so I guess it's best that we uh, get right to it.
for this build I'm running a two-handed bar as my main bar and a destro bar as my second bar. So on our main bar we're using inner light, uh, then we're using reflective light and then we're using channeled focus as well which really helps with the magic sustain and also makes you a little bit beefier. Then the main spammer ball is uh, the puncturing sweep, they're fucking overpowered, you just heal yourself constantly while doing a fuck ton of damage. Next on the list we've got Radiant Oppression which is the Execute, uh, it does so much damage when the enemy's below 50% health uh, and obviously the lower it gets the more damage it does. Then for the ultimate is Solar Disturbance obviously, personally I would prefer the Destro ultimate but I haven't unlocked that yet, I'm still working towards it. So on the back bar which is the Destro staff bar we've obviously got inner light again for the uh, extra crit and magicka. Next we actually have Radiant Aura which is the other morph of Repentance. Um, so in this most recent update uh, basically what it does is obviously it gives you the 10% uh, of all of the other stats as well. But when you light attack someone with your weapon it will give you magic back a bit like elemental drain does but it doesn't have to be with a spell it can be with any weapon next we've got blazing spear and blockade so with the most recent update uh, blazing spear doesn't stun enemies anymore but it does last two seconds longer so it does make it easier to put it down with blockade uh, so they, they both last last eight seconds now it makes it easier to time them uh, then also we've got ritual of retribution which is another dot. Uh, it also heals you as well, so that's very helpful. We're running the same ultimate on the back bar. Obviously, like I say, I would prefer to sw switch it out for the um, Destro or even the Mage's Guild ultimate as well. So the boon I've got on is the Thief uh, for that crit boy. I'm also a vampire for that damage reduction below 30% health and the Magicka recovery, but that is optional. I'm also a high elf. Okay, so now it's time to run through the gear that I'm using. So I'm wearing Valkin's monster set. Uh, it's recently been nerfed, but it's still very good. And then I'm wearing Juliano's chest, waist, hands, legs, and shoes. Uh, all in divines, because obviously it increases the crit damage. Uh, I'm using the willpower necklace and rings. I'm also using the Inferno Staff of Torog's Pact and the Swords of Torog's Pact. That's just for the extra spell damage. Ideally, uh, what I'd like to do with this build is eventually get Burning Spell Weave instead of Julianos and the Maelstrom weapons as well. Okay, so you're going to want the rotation to be Radiant Aura, Blazing Spear, Blockade, Ritual of Retribution, Swap Bars, then you want to do Reflective Light, uh, then Channel Focus, then Sweeping, Light Attack, Sweeping, Light Attack. Then you Swap Bars and Repeat. So that'll be it from me today, boys. Thank you for listening. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.